Hi everyone! This week in Physics 126 lab, we'll be exploring circuits. Now, because of where we're at, we aren't actually going to go into the lab. And normally our circuits lab would involve exciting things like voltmeters and light bulbs and wires, sometimes even soldering irons, but we don't get to do that now. And it's unfortunate because we don't get the actual hands on the apparatus. But we are going to do a set of simulations that are very similar to building circuits and actually have a lot of advantages because we can really see what's happening inside them and there's a lot less fire. So without further ado, let's take a look at what the circuit construction kit looks like. When you follow the link to the construction kit, you'll get a introductory screen that looks like this. We will want to go into lab mode which brings up a full set of options. We won't need all of them, but it gives us a canvas on which we can build electric circuits. We can start by grabbing material out of the sidebar and immediately connecting that up into a basic circuit. Here's a wire hooked up to a battery. And as soon as we hook the wire connected to uh, the resistor connected to the battery, we see that the current starts flowing. By default, this will show you the flow of the electrons in a circuit, which are the charge carriers, but you can always go up to this side panel here and toggle it to show the flow of the current as we would ask about it in an exam question, assuming incorrectly that the charge carriers are positive, but this is nonetheless the convention that we use. We uh, can return to our regular circuit and measure some properties of the circuit using the tools over here on the right. The first thing we can use is a voltmeter, where we can take the leads and attach them to different parts of the circuit. So if I hook up uh, the positive or red lead to the plus end of the battery and the negative or ground and black lead to the uh, negative end of the battery, we'll get a measure of 9 volts. So this is a 9 volt battery. That's the default, and it's the way the lab is set up. So you shouldn't have to adjust the default values for anything. The next piece of equipment you'll want to explore is the ammeter, and you'll want to grab this one on the right, because this works like a real ammeter does in the circuit to measure the current. You actually have to plug ammeters into the circuits to figure out how the current is flowing through them. We need to break apart our circuit, so to do that we just click on one of the junctions, select the scissors button, and that cuts open the circuit. So we can go ahead and connect our ammeter in here. And when we hook it up, that gives us the current reading for the, uh, uh, this particular circuit. So it shows 0.9 amps flowing around this circuit. If you want to clear your canvas, just click on the uh, reset button here. Uh, the other thing that's worth showing is how light bulbs work. So I can build a uh, circuit, including a light bulb, when I bring out a light bulb, there's two connections and you need to make sure that your wires attach to two separate connections. So one is on the bottom of the light bulb and the other is on the side. And if I do that, I get some light out of my light bulb. Note that if I connected both to the bottom, it would very sensibly uh, take the light bulb out of the circuit, create a short circuit, and set the battery on fire. So maybe I kid. There's fire here too. The last thing you want to take a look at is a switch. So you can take a switch out of the sidebar and connect it and hook it up into your circuit. And if I do so, the switch comes in in the default position of open, so no current can flow through it. But if I close it, I can turn on the light bulb. Open, closed. And so this allows us to actually measure the properties of uh, what happens when we change the path that electrons can flow through the circuit. So that gives you all the basic tools that you'll need to complete the circuits lab. However, there's some options over here. We don't have to worry about changing any of the defaults for wire resistivity and battery resistance. So just leave those as they are. You can go into uh, properties like resistors and change their resistance. It even changes the band colors on the resistors for you. Uh, for now, just leave them at their default 10 ohms and you'll be all set. Uh, so but don't worry about adjusting anything for now. Uh, we'll fret on going beyond the defaults next week. Anyways, uh, good luck on your lab, and I hope this gives you everything you need. 
If you have any questions, go ahead and post them to the forum and we'll be right with you.